what we do, we are passionate about. And I think that's one of the common themes that draws us all together. If you find people that are passionate about something, watch them. Money will, will follow you if you are doing what you're paying. You don't have to worry about money because if you're passionate about it, right. the money will, will take care of itself. Donnie and I, Donnie just turned 42, I just turned 41. We're within months of each other. And um, we've known each other since we were in our 20s to set, set it up with how long we've been working together and how long we've known each other. And we used to work at another veterinary practice. And when I finally left that practice after eight years and decided to go out on my own, I was in a situation here in Decatur where I had to open this practice and, and needed somebody to help me do it and didn't have anybody and called Donnie at our old job. Um, and I will tell you this now, I generally tell this story and get very choked up. So if I do, it'll be great for <laughs> Um, I'm going to try not to, though. But um, I called Donnie and uh, told him, you know, he everybody was wondering where I'd gone. And I said, well, I opened this practice. I'm, I'm in the process of doing it, and I need somebody to help me open it because I can't be there all the time. And he, and I wanted to be you. And he said, well, uh, you know, I said, I can't, I don't know if I can pay you. I don't know how long it will be until I can pay you, but um, what can you do? He said, well, when do you need me? I said, well, as soon as possible and he said well let me call you back so he hung up the phone called me right back and told me he'd be there in two weeks because he went to our former employer and gave him his two-week notice in two weeks donnie was there we were painting walls we were doing all this he brought gene over which is a whole another story but i found out later from one of the managers who was a good friend of mine there who was a big wig manager there that when Donnie told them he was leaving, they offered to double his salary, which at that time uh, would have certainly been more than I could have given him and might be more than he's getting now. But. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Tommy. not, but it might be. <laughs> but, you know, Donnie, I love Donnie. Donnie is one of my best friends. Donnie has always supported me. And, and when I found that out, I had a... I called Donnie, I was in my car, I'll never forget it, I called him from my cell phone and said, you know, Donnie, Christine just told me what they offered you and you can't turn that down, you have to take that. He's like, he said, no, I don't. He's like, I, it's not about the money, it's about what we're about to do. And when he said that to me, I just broke down in the car. I mean, it was um, probably to this, to for the rest of my life, one of the greatest things anybody's ever done for me. And, um, you know, he, he is the heart and soul of our practice, and, you know, we wouldn't be moving here. We wouldn't be as successful as we are without him, and, uh, and I'm not looking at you just so I don't cry. Building um, helped me tremendously. I mean, knowing that this isn't just a paycheck for him, that this is about him, him making sure that what I want and what my dream is accomplished, and that he'll drive by it every day and just swell up with pride just I mean it's pretty good you know, pretty good feel got an announcement to make uh, to all y'all. Okay, this is your doctor right here. You're in good hands. I know you're scared. I know it's a little scary with the dogs and you know all the all this stuff going on, but I just want you to know you you got a good group of people. You got some new friends right here. And uh, I think y'all are gonna be just fine. Socks and mittens, you're all gonna be okay. Alright? That's what I say.
experience. Uh, Fifth Avenue and 53rd Street.